SNL mocks Trump's Christmas with his tree of losers, including Comey, Bannon, and Flynn, Scarlett Johansson as Ivanka and Omarosa trying to get back into the White House. Saturday Night Live hilariously mocked the Trump family's Christmas decorations at the White House with Alec Baldwin returning as the bumbling president while Cicely Strong plays First Lady Melania Trump. The cold open of NBC's hit weekly sketch comedy show shows the first family decorating the Christmas tree at the White House with ornaments of losers. The list includes James Comey, Sean Spicer, Anthony Scaramucci, Roy Moore, Mike Flynn, Omarosa, and others. Merry Christmas, Melania Trump says at the start of the sketch, to which President Trump replies, That's right, you can finally say that again, because the war on Christmas is over. and will soon be replaced by the war with North Korea. The president then bragged about having a fireplace burning all natural American coal. He also used the opportunity to tout his first year in office as the greatest year in the history of America. and maybe the entire planet Earth, to which Melania Trump replies, Rest in peace. The president then promises the American people the biggest, fattest tax cut God that might make me a real billionaire. It's my greatest achievement, the president says. Now I can settle down and be super presidential. That is until Don Lemon says something mean about me and I tweet the actual N word. It's Christmas time, Trump says. Soon White Santa will be coming from house to house taking presents from Muslims and illegals and giving them to American children. The president and first lady then turn to the task of decorating the Christmas tree of shame with ornaments of the haters and losers that Trump defeated in his first year in office. Trump then invites his staff to help decorate the tree. He brings out White House counselor Kellyanne Conway, played by Kate McKinnon, who compliments Trump on how great he looks. God, you're so good at lying, Kellyanne, the president says. When Conway hands Trump an ornament with the face of the disgraced former FBI director James Comey, the president says, sadly, I had to fire Comey because he's a nut job and also because he knew all my secrets. So I had to pull a little obstruction of justice a, Trump says, attempting pig Latin. When Trump asks Conway what she wants for Christmas, she says, I want out. Trump then invites White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, played by Eddie Bryant, to hang an ornament. Sanders brought two ornaments, one of former Press Secretary Sean Spicer and the other of former White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci, whose mangled corpses I stepped over to get this job. It's so impressive the way you defend all the outrageous things I say and do every day, the president tells Sanders. Well, hey, sir, you shoot a gun at the floor and I'll dance, she says. That's my girl, Trump says. The president then invites his fall guy dash vice president Mike Pence, the hang an ornament. Merry Christmas, Mr. President, says Pence, played by Beck Bennett. I hope I'm not slurring my speech. I had a ginger ale. Are you here to deck the halls, Mike? Trump asks Pence. Oh, I don't like that song, Pence says. Because it mentions gay apparel, which I'm pretty sure is a mesh tank top. The ornament I brought is that traitorous Mike Flynn. Pence says, because he lied to us, Mr. President. Then Pence looks intently into the camera and says slowly for emphasis, he acted alone, without our knowledge. Flynn pleaded guilty on December 1st to lying to the FBI about conversations he held with the Russian ambassador a year ago during the Trump transition. He struck a deal with the special counsel investigating alleged meddling by Russia in the 2016 presidential elections. When Trump, Pence, and the first lady hear a loud thud, they grow startled. Could it be Santa, or the rapture? Pence asks. Even worse, Trump says. It's Omarosa. The reference is to Omarosa Manigault Newman, the White House aide who was reportedly fired this past week. In the skit, Omarosa, played by Leslie Jones, is seen banging on the window and screaming. She is then accosted by Secret Service agents. Nobody kicks Omarosa out of the White House, she says. Omarosa punches one of the agents before she is detained by another and dragged away. In real life, it was reported that Omarosa had to be physically removed from the White House after she was denied entry into the president's living quarters. She's a tough cookie, Trump says of Omarosa. I think we're going to have to move. The next Trump family member to hang an ornament is Ivanka Trump, played by Scarlett Johansson. Ivanka, you made it, but where's Jared? The president says. He's packing a go bag before the FBI arrives. Ivanka says. I'm going to miss him, President Trump says. Me, too. I'll always remember that one time I heard him talk, Ivanka says. She then hangs her ornament, Roy Moore, the Alabama judge who lost to Democrat Doug Jones in this week's special election for a Senate seat. Poor Roy, the president says. I thought for sure he would win. Until he lost, then I said I knew he would lose. At least America knows that I finally supported an accused child molester. As I said, there's a special place in hell, and we're all there, Ivanka says. In real life. Ivanka Trump said there was a special place in hell for people who prey on children, a reference to Moore, who has been accused by multiple women of assaulting them when they were underage.
Johansson's Ivanka then says, I also tried to make a Steve Bannon ornament but his face wouldn't fit so I brought you a mad ball instead. When Trump thinks his daughter and tells her she was always his favorite child, the president's two eldest sons, Donald Jr., played by Mikey Day, and Eric, portrayed by Alex Moffat, appear. When Eric Trump says, I'm Derek, his brother asks him, it's Eric. Are you getting worse? I always forget. Are they yours? President Trump asks the first lady. No, Melania replies. Then Eric Trump interjects, I made a macaroni star. You better be good this year, Eric, Donald Jr. tells him. The elf on the shelf is watching. The camera then cuts to the elf on the shelf, which is a miniature Jeff Sessions sitting on the shelf above the fireplace. The attorney general, played by McKinnon, is wearing a red elf's costume. Whether you're Christian, or Jewish, or that's it, we can all agree it's gonna be a Merry Christmas, Sessions says. You are not secretly recording our conversations, are you Jeff? Trump asks Sessions. I won't snitch because I do not recall who's been naughty and who's been nice, the attorney general says. I recall a simpler time when you were judged not by the color of your skin but, wait, no, it was by the color of your skin, Sessions says after a pause. He then asks Trump if he could put the angel on top of the tree. After Trump tells Sessions that he's always been his little angel the president says, I'm sure this is going to be your last year in office. Sessions then reveals that the angel he wants to hang bears the face of special counsel Robert Mueller. Merry Christmas, Sessions says. Everyone is gonna get away with everything. The sketch ends with the theme music from NBC's The Apprentice playing from a boombox held by Omarosa, who returns and tries to once again get in the White House. Omarosa returned later in the show, stopping by the Weekend Update studios to explain her firing. After Michael Che played a clip of news reels explaining that Omarosa was fired, Jones's Omarosa appeared. I demand a retraction. Omarosa tells Che, I left that job by choice. That's right, I quit. I deactivated my ID card. I changed the locks on my own office. I escorted myself of the premises. And then I threw myself into the bushes. Che then asks an SNL security guard to remove Omarosa. You can't throw me out because I quit. She yells to the guard. You better take my arm because I'm escorting you out of the building. <laughs>